My name is Lilia Alifanova, and I've been at BMS since January 15, 2015, until um, April 10, 2015. I have uh, an interdisciplinary practice. Um, it's a hybrid between um, painting, performance, installation, uh, and video. So my practice is grounded um, by a series called the World Series, um, in which I fragment materials um, rooted in the painting and drawing traditions, and I roll them into tight barrels and assemble pieces from it. I've tried to, over the last five or six years, I've tried to elaborate on that practice and expand it into um, other fields. So the project that followed that series have a lot to do with um, sort of performance and video. In the Whip series, um, I was sort of thinking of myself as sort of reconciling um, uh, my relationship to tradition, to, in that case, the tradition of drawing and painting, protesting against it in some ways and uh, trying to find a way to escape it but also uh, honor it at the same time. So subsequently I made pieces um, involving um, participants and performers and collaborating with people that um, work in video and animation and sound and movement. Um, and that type of work is really exciting to me because it's a kind of co-creation at every juncture of the process. Something new comes up and you discover something new. I think it's this idea of um, how history or art history continues to be deconstructed and reconstructed. I am uh, very fascinated by the work of T.S. Eliot, for example, who, re who reconciles the tradition, uh, literary tradition in his works. Uh, it was very important to him to think about how he can uh, work with tradition without breaking it. How do you uh, resolve the father figure without um, killing him off? And how do you carve out a territory for yourself? And that's been very important to me, especially in what I'm doing here, um, how to continue to expand my territory, uh, moving myself to a new country and not speaking the language, or uh, you know pursuing video without having any knowledge of it, or pursuing ceramics without having any sort of background in it. I could see some. Um, I could see how it all ties together. Well, I think um, expanding into ceramics was kind of like blew my mind a little bit. I would never expect myself to be attracted to that process, and I found it extremely fulfilling. Also, I think the intensity of it is very um, useful for me. Um, so something that was done here in three months would have taken like a year to do in New York. So I'm extremely happy about that. Um, as far as sort of like my process, I think it sort of forced me to um, think more cohesively rather than to focus, to zero in, rather than sort of like spread out. Uh, even though I'm working in several media on this project, it still sort of feels uh, you know, more cohesive than some of the other stuff. I try to make my experience at Bemis as cohesive as possible. I try to make a co cohesive body of work. Um, and so to do that, I feel like I've been using the same uh, color palette, um, the same materials appear in different variations. Um, and it's all sort of uh, tied into this idea of sort of like expanding or marking the territory.